beside the recipe I like to make this video for you to follow if you need it okay first the chicken I suggest you get the chicken thigh into two pieces for each of that it's much easy, easier instead of using the big chicken leg with thigh and the meat is much tender potatoes and the mushroom sausage you can just off it out if you don't like the sausage close up garlic clove for the mushroom you have to soak it beforehand for at least two hours in the cold water and you cut off the stem best result is use the clay pot if you have for the mixing the chicken like the casual so cut the potato like this now the chicken is all chopped up now I have to season it with a little bit of salt and then sprinkle on top of the chicken and also a spoon of dark soy sauce soy sauce like this just one teaspoon and also sprinkle some white pepper and then stir it up Enough. The green onion is used for garnish at the rear end of the dish. Put your hand above the pan, you feel a little bit heat. Now you can put on top of the oil and then bump it up. Try to put the skin down first. You don't need to put any oil on it because the chicken will get some grease coming out. Okay. Now you can turn the other side of all the pieces. You don't have to make it all cooked up. You just have to put this water to get to brown and preserve it for the meat. Feel it, the warm 
coming out with the bread you want. Okay, one stir it. Go there. And add two spoons of uh, dark soy sauce on top of it. So you brown it up. As soon as you put the soy sauce in, then you have to put the water in. Otherwise, as soon as it's a soy sauce, get uh, the soy sauce up. Ground up chicken into it. The best thing is to have all the water cover up with the chicken. Now, now we put three teaspoon of oyster sauce into it. After you put the salt, everything in. Time at time, you have to stir it up. So let it slow cook it. Thank you. Good. Half of the time you have to check it and then stir the everything. And make sure all the potato have soaked with the water. And let the juice flavor comes out and the chicken flavor gets into it. Now we can thicken it up with cornstarch. But you don't need to be a precise amount as long as the cornstarch dissolves into the water. You make it a runny, then you pour it into the pot gradually and then but at the same time you have to stir it so that it won't get uh, lumpy. You sprinkle the onion on top of the pot, bring it to a boil again and the whole thing process is finished.